I know that the best way to handle something is to not give it any attention. I was filmed for like two hours only to realize that my microphone wasn't working. So let's see if I can do this again with as much pep as I did in the first take. Strange Kevin or the female gays guy on TikTok. Controversial internet personality who rose to fame because of his unique approach to the female gays. But ultimately he faced cancellation. Once considered an up and coming comedian on TikTok, praised by the media and charmed by women for his swooning. But his fame came to an abrupt end last month. So how did he get himself canceled in less than a year? Well, the story of Kevin and it's a, it's a long and it's a scary one because I found people praising him. I found people criticizing him. Articles exploring his downfall, implications of racism and sexism, confessions from exes, and recently an explanation video. I mentioned to her um, that I had a king. If you guys want a more lighthearted video, go check out something else that I've done. Maybe my wedding video that I did. That was pretty funny and exciting because this isn't going to be that. I, I've seen that there's a few claims of an ex-girlfriend. I am a gay man. And he was like, I want you to put your blood in a vial. He likes when people put his initials. Strange Kevin started his online career six years ago when he used to make gaming content, playing Call of Duty, NBA 2K. But it wasn't until 2019 when he started making sketches on TikTok. For me personally, I found out about Kevin because of his dark comedy sketches back in 2021. He would always get really close to the camera and be like, huh? Hmm? What you mean by that? 2020 and 2021 were very big years for Kevin. Huge years, in fact. He got up to 2 million followers and gained another million in 2022. But now his account has been banned. He's moved to YouTube Shorts and Instagram Reels, and he's been begging people to get his account back. I was banned on TikTok. I did nothing wrong. The username is Strange Kevin. TikTok, please fix this. I've worked tremendously hard on this platform, and I've followed all the rules. Help. TikTok doesn't work like that. They don't reply to your tweets. It's not like YouTube. But what exactly happened? So in November of 2022, Kevin made a video with Justin Bieber playing in the background and he stops to give what has been referred to as the female gaze and women loved it. Guys try to recreate it. Wait, maybe this picture explains what the female gaze is because I have no idea what it is. Essentially, the female gaze is the way that women are portrayed through the eyes of women instead of a man. Through the eyes of a woman, women are seen as people with feelings and intelligence. The focus isn't necessarily on what the eye can see, but what the heart can feel. After making this female gaze video, this has been the beginning of the downfall of Strange Kevin. What happens when people start getting so big so quickly? People start looking into their past and digging they did. They found a lot of sketches of Kevin pretending to hurt women. Screen recordings of Kevin on an alt account pretending to choke and degrade women also came out. <gasps> did you just grab me like that? I have a question. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Question. I have a question for you. Yes. What's your name? Um, that's confidential. Your name don't that. matter, little bro. Then we have the accusations of racism. Jarvis Johnson was one of the first people to talk about how he's been quite prejudiced against black women. I swear to God, if he makes fun of another black woman's appearance. During his live streams, he would like to go through his own content and look at people that have stitched him and either criticize or comment on the people that have commented on him. Shut your stupid ass up, bro. Then the creator, Aunt Karen, this is her account here, she decided to talk about some of the stranger activities that have been happening on his Discord server. So I did some more research into Kevin and it turns out he has a Discord server. Now the Discord is called Kev Sexuals and it has about 3,000 something members and that would be all fine and dandy except for anyone's allowed to join, meaning minors. What bothers me is the introduction section where people are giving their age, location, and anybody can respond. There is no monitoring in this group at all. Not only that, people are sending selfies of themselves. So that means you're getting selfies of 15 year olds and 14 year olds. Kev, I know you're trying to laugh this off, but I really think you need to address this. The allegations only got worse because Kevin's exes started to come out and talking about how he mentally them. Oh, so I thought I'd show some screenshots to my friends only, proving it. This one is my personal favorite. Um, had him blocked on Instagram at this point, saying, pick up your shit, Tiesler. I can't make this shit up. Here's an example of what I went through. This is just one screenshot, by the way. Don't be fooled. Oh. I, I've seen that there's a few claims of an ex-girlfriend. I am a gay man. I'm gonna warn you now, if you're sensitive to certain things, I would probably be careful watching this part. But like what was really crazy was that like anytime it happened, it was only me doing anything. 
and he was just watching. And you know that fucking stare he does? That was exactly what I saw the entire time. And then it got progressively worse, um, him actually telling me he has a, um, I'm sorry, this part is really hard. He has um, a kink, and I wish I was fucking lying, but I'm not. He got a thrill out of seeing girls hurt themselves. That's a, that's a kink. What, why is this about a manip- it's, there was no manipulation involved. But he was begging me to cut my hair. He wanted me to cut my hair and I had made this out of my hair for a bracelet, right? And he was like, that is literally so cool, like mail it to me and stuff. And he was like, but wait, there's something missing. And he was like, I want you to put your blood in a vial for me. But what does the aftermath of Strange Kevin look like? Well, it seems like he's made a new TikTok account, still with some misogynistic content on there. Like he, he hasn't learned at all. Finished mm -hmm. with the plate, right? Why are you looking at me when you say that? I am not putting the plate in the sink if that's what you're getting at. Give me my boxing gloves. We talked about that shit in the car, bro. <laughs> Why would I put your plate in the Just sink? So. It's not gonna hurt too bad. Please share my account. Please, ladies. It's Kevin. I got banned at three mil. Hashtag female gay. People don't care that you're the female gays guy. People in the comments have not forgotten. Hashtag female gays still trying to live off that after being exposed. Please, ladies. That's what he said. He's begging like he's Ben Affleck after getting unmatched on Raya. Naveen, why did you unmatch me? It's me. On Twitter, he's also begging for his account back. I was banned for hate speech against the LGBTQ plus community. As an LGBTQ plus member, please left my ban. The gays love me. Why the fuck you lying? Sure about that? Because people in the comments are saying otherwise. No, we don't. Hope this helped. The gays literally hate you. He's also on YouTube doing live streams, looking like a Mario anti-hero. What you mean by that? Four weeks ago, Kevin made a addressing the situation video to highlight the Discord server, the racial comments. In an attempt to be comical, I made jokes about the people's appearance that were stitching my videos or reacting to them. And there were two women in particular. They were both black women. There was a video made by a man named Jarvis in which he was alluding to the idea of me being racist. Following that video, that's when people started to call me racist and deem me as a racist person for these comments. My take on the situation. I think it's completely understandable, the hate that I received for that. I see how it can be looked at as racist. I see that it can be looked at as a microaggression considering my skin complexion. I was making a joke about people's appearance and while doing that, pointed out a racial stereotype. The N-word, his transphobic content. I used to say the N-word when I was younger. My friends and I would say it all the time. I could imagine that if you were already on the fence with me, hearing that might just be like a punch to the gut, make things worse. But I'm gonna be completely honest. Growing up in New York City as an Arab, you just think you're entitled to saying it. Everyone around you says it, nobody bats an eye when you say it. You simply do not understand the severity in the word you're saying. Content that I made back in 2020 that was also considered transphobic. Making jokes about trans people is not funny, not okay. Don't condone it, my humor has changed, I have changed, I've grown. And even talks about some of the allegations with his exes. I had mentioned to her that I had a kink that was more, you know, dark, like not for everybody, definitely. To which she immediately agreed and related to, said I have the same kink. She went up and down telling me that she was into it, which is how it normally goes. I would tell these women that I enjoy this and most of the time they would say, I enjoy that too. And if they say, oh, not really into that, that would be the end of the conversation. Majority of the comments seem pretty positive, but you can tell from the like to dislike ratio, people are not liking this. But thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. This was the second time I recorded this entire video. So if you did enjoy it, leave me a thumbs up. Follow me over on Twitch. I like to do research for my videos over on Twitch live. And be sure to tune in next time. I used to say the N word. My friends and I would say it all the time. Mm -hmm. What you mean by that?